Synchronizing videos through their audio has become a very simple process within Adobe Premiere. I'm going to show you how to do it in this lecture because I know very many of you would like to synchronize the white shot with the close up within the interview. So let's do that. We are now in section 5.8 and you have two clips. One is close up, the other one is white shot. And we have a dummy sequence here which we will double click to open. Let's start with the close up. Click on the close up and drag it and drop it inside the sequence. Now take the white shot, click on it and drag it and drop it above the first sequence, the close up. Cool. Now, if you want to synchronize them manually, you will have to select one of them. Just go through to match visually the waveform. It's going to be tedious. You need to zoom in and stories. And I can assure you, you will always be off with one or two frames and the videos will be off. And Open Premiere can synchronize this for you in seconds. If you select the two clips, right click and go to synchronize. You have now the synchronized clips palette. You can synchronize to the start or the end or a certain time code. In our case here, we have none of these. The start and the end really don't work for us. And we don't have a time code. You could match a time code over here, depending, of course, on the timing of the clips. The best way to do it is to click on audio and say, OK, here you are. It takes only a few seconds and it's done. Now they have been synchronized at 100%. If you look at the waveforms, you will notice they are identical on both audio channels here, A1 and A2. We want to focus on close up two. This is the main shot and we are going to trim the white shot. Let's trim it to close up two here on the beginning and the end. Here you are. Now, if you play your video, we go to the end point and you play it. You will City notice that there is a single is voice cool that's happening. There are Buffalo not two Mountain. voices. I play the game without talking. Sorry, guys. So I live we'll in click. Johnson City and this is the coolest place to ride Buffalo Mountain. Is really a very clean sync where you can hear only a single voice. Now let's make it a bit more interesting to join these two clips. First of all, really you want to trim the white shot to start just when he's putting his hand out or when he's saying this is, I guess it's over here. Cool, that will be nice. And we use our trim tool to trim it to the playhead. Let's play it and see if it's good enough. I live in Johnson City and this is the coolest Excellent. place to ride Buffalo Mountain. Fantastic. Now you can select both of them, take them to the beginning of the sequence. You could also now delete the audio on the track A2. This is the audio for the watch shot. To select the audio only, I'll show you this trick later on. We will really dig deeper in how to select. Just press Alt, Option on the Mac, click, and you will only select the one you clicked on, which is the audio. Press Delete and it's gone. Fine. Let's stream the video here. But if you click, it will select the video and the audio. If you want to select only the audio, same, same, press Alt or Option on the Mac, click on the video and you select it only the video. And let's trim it to this side. Here you are. Now, of course, you can take the video and drag it down and make sure it snaps. Let's go see how it sounds and how it looks now. We use the up arrow to go to the beginning and play. I live in Johnson City and this is the coolest place to ride Buffalo Mountain. Perfect shot. Fine. You can take these two clips now, press Ctrl C, copy them, go back to your main sequence, which is our extreme biking, and paste them instead of having a single close up. Thank you very much for listening. I'll see you in the next lecture. I live in Johnson City and this is the coolest place to ride Buffalo Mountain.